Kia ora everyone, I hope you're all doing well. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to get the Deepstone Crypt secret chest in the Sparrow section. I'm going to be showing you how to do this solo, so in case you don't have a fire team and you just want to get in there and get the chest, you can do this. You can also do this three times a week, so you can do it once on each character. So once you load into the raid, you will have to kill a few enemies to get into the Sparrow section. Um, these enemies aren't too bad. I believe this area is recommended uh, 1220, so just be aware of that if you're uh, trying to do this solo, and especially if you're under that level. So I'm just going to speed this up a little bit just so we can get through it a bit quicker. Now once you kill those enemies, this door over here will open up and you just want to go through that. And you can get your sparrow out at any point of time in this opening section, so just hop on your sparrow and head in this direction. Now for transparency, there is currently a glitch that allows you to traverse the desolation area without uh, getting frostbite, uh, the debuff frostbite. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to do that as well as at the end of the video I'll show you how to do it legitimately in case the glitch gets patched. So once you reach the first bubble, in order to activate the glitch what you want to do is you want to get your sparrow just outside the bubble so you're still getting frostbite, hop back in the bubble so that you don't have frostbite and then hop back onto your sparrow uh, that is currently outside of the bubble and it will activate the glitch and you can see I've only got shelves from the storm and I'm not getting the frostbite debuff. Now once you've activated the glitch just follow the path that I take on screen. I've mapped out a way that avoids all of the snow mines and this is also a path that can be taken without using the glitch. Once you've reached the final bubble with the brigs, there's two brigs and a bunch of enemies that will show up. Um, just try not to die, maybe use a super to keep yourself alive or something like that. And just head to the, if, as you enter the bubble, it would be on your right hand side. But when you're looking from the back of the bubble back to where you came from, uh, it's going to be on the left just like I did. Now just make your way up these cliffs. Excuse my uh, very terrible warlock jumping, uh, I'm a hunter main and uh, not very good on the warlock jumps. And there is a little gap up here that you should be able to reach and get the chest just in here. Once you get the chest, it will give you 10 spoils of war as well as an item. This time I got a raid mod. And then I will show you on my other two characters. So I did this on my Titan. And once again, I got 10 spoils of war. And I got another raid mod. And then on my Hunter, uh, I got 10 spoils of war, I got another raid mod, and I also got a pair of raid legs. So that's how you do it. Um, as promised, here is the way to do it without using the glitch, just in case the glitch is patched out. Uh, I'm just going to let this play out till the end of the video, but that's all I've really got to say for this. That's it from me. Now, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, a like is always appreciated on the video. It does help it out. Now it's time for me to say see you everyone and I'll see you in the next video.